please tell us your name and where you're from. Christy from Las Vegas, Nevada. And please tell us what was the problem that brought you here? What, what were you seeking? Um, so I faced a little bit of childhood trauma and abandonment issues. My dad was in and out of jail. They had me as teenage parents. So my mom was a party girl, never really home. Um, from the ages of a newborn to five, she was nowhere to be found. When she came into my life, she would leave me at random people's houses. I was with strangers I didn't know. Uh, the garage was literally my babysitter with no food, no nothing to eat. So I was abandoned a lot. Um, and she would bring random guys in and then out the house. Um, so I seen drugs all over the table. There's something called a trap house. That's where we would stay. So I've seen all kinds of drugs, just not a lifestyle for a kid. Um, and then I've also encountered a lot of witchcraft in my life. Um, so I battled depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts. Um, when I would get so depressed, I would look in the mirror and my demons would literally tell me, if you tell anybody, we're going to kill you. So I would not tell anybody about my depression. I'd keep it to myself. Um, so I, I got tired of it. I got so tired of it. And that's why I came here today to seek deliverance from my demons. When my depression would get really, really severe, I would harm myself and I wouldn't be able to stop. Like I would bite my arm and I would be telling myself, Christy, let go but I would not be able to let go. Or I would drown myself to the point where I would literally would about pass out, but then I would get right back up because as I would say from the ages of 10, my dad was in church and I lived in a God-fearing home. So my demons were never allowed to literally kill me or take me to the point of suicidal, but um, they would, I would cut myself all the time. And even while I'm cutting myself, I'd be like, ow, this, this hurts but I wouldn't be able to stop. There'd be blood dripping down my arm and I'd just be crying like, what am I doing? Stop, stop, and I, I wouldn't be able to stop. So what happened to you today when you came to the prayer line? Um, I came thinking that I already had been delivered because I started the process back at home. So I'm just like, okay, this is gonna be an experience, that's all. But once they started talking about demons of mental illness, get out, I literally fell to the floor at my seat and started crying. Then they took me up to the front and as I was walking up to the front, I started to, to shake and to feel this fear that didn't feel like my fear. Um, and as they started to pray for me, there is this scream that came that wasn't even my voice. And even in the moment, I'm thinking like, what, what's going on? I can't control what's going on. What is this voice? What are these, what, what's going on? All the voices that were in my head were now out loud, which was something I was scared of. But prior in the preaching, he said, just yield. Just let Jesus do what he has to do. And they started to move my body in ways that hurt, like arching my back, bending my neck, screaming, we want her, we're not gonna let her go. They didn't want to confess who they were. They would laugh, it, it was crazy. So how do you feel now? Uh, now I feel like now I'm the one laughing. Now I, before when they would try to ask me what's wrong, I would not be able to talk. I literally felt like somebody was grabbing my neck and wasn't allowing me to talk. Now I could talk, Ooh, who's gonna stop me from talking? <laughs> so what would be a word of encouragement for people that have gone through maybe something same? Be patient. Be patient. I've been going through this since the day I was born. I'm 22 going on 23. God's timing is so perfect. Just be patient. Don't stop praying. I've had nights where I'd feel like, God, where are you? When is this going to happen for me? Is it going to happen for me? But the Bible says it'll happen. So I kept praying and I kept insisting and persisting. Just keep going. Do not give up up don't give up even if you fall and you backslide and you fall into certain sins get right back up don't stop and what would you like to share with Jesus just I want to get to my knees and worship that's all I want to do just speechless he has me speechless in a very beautiful way before the demons wouldn't let me talk now I'm in in awe just in complete awe it's only because of Jesus am I allowed to even explain this because I'm just in awe. That's all I can say is I'm wow. <laughs>